And the lack of progress in Washington has left DACA applicants in the Chicago area with very uncertain futures. Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Baca is here now with more. Stacey. And Judy, an emergency meeting for DACA applicants begins at 6.30 tonight at the Resurrection Project. The organization, which has helped about 500 applicants, wants to make sure that everyone has the latest information. But everything is really changing day to day, even today, hour to hour. And as one recipient told me, life this week is a roller coaster ride. Laura Mendoza, who is pictured on the right, was seven when her mother brought her from Mexico to Chicago. Today she's 28 and wants to stay in the U.S. She says this week is critical. This situation right now highlights how fragile our situation really is. Mendoza has followed the headlines all week, President Trump's immigration comments, to the back and forth immigration fight today on Capitol Hill. The uncertainty is unnerving. We can't continue to live our lives according to, you know, like a tweet or whatever happens on the news. And late today, news of an immigration deal. We've heard a lot of rumors about a deal, um, but we haven't seen the details of the deal. And until it's officially announced, we got to keep organizing. So a phone bank is in full force at the Illinois Coalition for Immigrant and Refugee Rights. So far, the group has made 70,000 phone calls to registered voters. Today's a national call-in day to Congress. We're asking people, contact your legislators, contact your member of Congress, call your senators to let them know that you support a Clean Dream Act. Meantime, those who help DACA recipients are waiting for federal guidelines and telling DACA applicants. There's no specific uh, guidelines yet, but we are um, informing them and letting them know that our doors are open for legal consultation. And tonight, Laura Mendoza is not only one of 40,000 DACA applicants, she's a presenter at the emergency meeting to help them. And that, she says, provides some comfort. It helps me feel um, power. It helps me feel like I'm contributing, like I am being part of what's happening and not just sitting by the sidelines. So the next week is really going to be critical. There's a January 19th deadline for reaching an agreement on government spending, and some Democrats want to include immigration as part of that push. With the president's comments late today, though, it's really going to be interesting to see how tomorrow unfolds and what is left of any political coalition. So it is really a fluid situation right now. We'll be closely watching it. All right, Stacey.